subbed longer than me. Damn, Absolutely. man. Subscription for 10 months? Yo, That's what we, happens, man. When you when you back airing people at 20, man, you got money to blow, <laughs> baby. You living the good life. Anyways, let's get into the match. Hidden Boss 6 versus at... Oh. oh. Yo, Sabatato's name is Hidden Boss 6 now? Yeah. Man, he's number 6. All right, here we go. Tizzerov versus Hidden Boss 6. I'm going to try with every fire in my being to resist calling him Sabatato. How do you feel about this uh, matchup right now? Bayonetta, Lucas. Uh, Lucas. Actually, so it's, I think it's a very unique matchup because I think that Lucas actually does really, really well against Bayonetta. I think a lot better than a lot of people initially uh, look at. He has a very small hurt box, right, in the frame. So if, and he has really good area mobility. So if you combine those things together, that means the character that can actually do really well against Yang out of Bayonetta's combo. Not to mention Oh, <laughs> Freeze! <laughs> Iceman! Get him out of here! <laughs> Oh, clip it up! Yo. Oh, here we go. We got so okay. much time punches. Okay. Is he going to get the spike? Yep. Yes. Yep. Stock for stock. <laughs> oh, what a way to open up oh, this yeah. set. Strong. <laughs> way too strong. But anyways, Lucas is a grappler despite how he looks. He is a zoning grappler. And those two combinations are very, very, very good when dealing with Bayonetta. So he doesn't really have to deal with any kind of problems because his strongest punish option is going to be a grab. And also that long grab, and with the Zare, you can be able to zone out or like space Bayonetta fairly well too. So she's gonna have problems in that regard. So as long as he's at the point with those grab conversions, it's gonna make it somewhat difficult with her to deal with. Yeah, we're kind of seeing it right now. Um, Tizarov staying at a really nice range for him to be in a Zare and PK fire distance. Where you know Bayonetta wants to start like her ground combos with the afterburner, isn't interrupted pretty often. Yeah. And also, oh, um, nice uh, PK Thunder, like one, is actually really, really good with dealing with Bayonetta off the gate. Oh, right. She That's has actually to be, yeah, really she, important. Because she has to do an attack in order to actually recover, right? So. That's also something that's actually really, really strong against Bayonetta. And of course, he has a multitude of kill throws. So, overall, it does really, really well against her, in my opinion. As we're going in here, we're on the last stock set. Nice. Fair is going to do it. Yes, it will. Getting that uh, pretty much every time. Mm -hmm. uh, but at that percent, that's going to lead to the stock. Yeah. Really clean, clean up there from Tizaro. Yeah, Lucas. Yeah, that was clean. But yeah, that's where I'd seen this guy from. Uh, Umbra. Okay. Yeah, yeah. There that's, you go. I see him in uh, Marcus. Okay. Like way right. back when. Okay, so some familiarity there. Uh, yeah, but that was a really good. That was a clean option right there from go for. A lot of times you'd see other Lucas's tend to go for the throwing up air in that scenario. But he's like, dude, if you're right next to the blast zone, go ahead and get out of this way all you want. I'm just gonna kick you in the face and you're done. Yeah, and he's been getting away with that every time. Yeah. Anyway, so no reason to not go for it in that situation. Yeah, no, absolutely. But. Hidden boss six, going to run with the Dreamland counter pick. Oh, no wish time punch. And since he was mashing, uh, mashing neutral air there, he was actually able to get a hit out of there before you know, yeah. he can even get a real punish. Okay, seeing a little better di come out of uh, over here. Okay, hidden boss. Uh, oh, nope, not going to be this dog. Good DI right. right there from Silver. He definitely understands how to DI it up there. A lot of times people still get in a situation where they're DIing way up, and you can go all the way to the side on that move. Yeah, clean stuff. Good recovery. Oh, oh. yeah. The <laughs> easiest punch in the world. I always going to hang off the ledge saying, yep. look at me. Look at me. That was really clean. Yeah. There's a lot of people who would have... Uh, Going for like a less, you know, punishing option there. Just using free fall. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely a very solid option. The one thing that I would have liked to see him over is that him actually dying in forward immediately. Right. That he couldn't escape that down smash. Then he would have landed on the stage. But he was a little too afraid. Thought he could kind of weave around there. It's like, <laughs> not against those product heels, man. Nope. Speaking of product heels, getting lit up by the back is. I'll try to go for Nair to push him out on stage. Doesn't work out. We're going back to the user here. Good grab. Okay. It's over. Oh, yeah, he's consistently there. going for the uh, four dares. Okay. Uh, at this point, definitely can uh, get more reward off the up air. Yeah, up air definitely should have been an option there. Okay, let's see the opportunity. Okay, go to Nair. Push him off stage. Potential edge guard. Ledge play. Yeah, gotta be. Uh, 
looking out for the afterburner from the ledge. It's very common Bayonetta to just get back to center stage yeah. and get some easy cross up as well. Oh, I thought that was like, just going to be a grab. Nice. Uh, good stock. option coverage. Yeah, well done. Yeah, if he would have just kind of DI'd in, he would have gotten caught by the wish twist and been sent out anyway. Right. Notice that he wasn't in range to get that, still swung the nair. Just exactly. Cover both options. Yeah, very, move. very well done. All right. Yeah, so good answer with the two stock on Dreamland. Now, one thing I'm seeing right now, initially when we saw, I was talking about, I was applauding uh, Sober for going for that, you know, the grab conversion into fair. Yeah. And. I mean, yeah, getting the down throw in the pair, but now it seems like that it wasn't necessarily something that he was doing in terms of, depending on the situation, it's just simply like his general combo. Right, right. And that's to me, is a problem because, again, he had an opportunity where he could have gone down throw up air, he could have cleared out a stock. Definitely. Another opportunity where he could have used one of either like a pivot grab and gone for like a back throw or gone for an up throw or something and he could that green line or something like that, he actually could have gotten a kill. Yeah, so. I think that's something that you're going to have to be looking at if you can actually take this one off. Take it there. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, you oh, this could be kill. Wow, yeah. what a reversal there. Yeah, he had SDI the neutral air from Lucas and then ended up behind him, then started Wish Twist from there, and it looked like Tizroff was, wasn't uh, prepared to DI. Yeah, not at all. Yeah, you actually can SDI Lucas's neutral air, so he has to adjust the. Um, Timing of his strings appropriately or where you're going. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Ooh, fair one yeah. into the wish twist extension. Yep. That's yeah. gonna be damaged. And see, this is again where these problems are coming out of him going for these down throw fairs. Because if you go through the down throw fairs, he's actually putting Bayonetta in appropriate position where she can just simply go for a side, aerial side B and continue to start a combo from there. So she's getting more damage than he is. Right. For him going for that fair. Whereas if he goes for an up air in this situation, at least puts her in a place where she is above and she has no choice but to like try to find some recovery option from there. She's not actually gonna be able to hit him from there. Yeah. Alright, he wish time for smash, yeah. Okay. He's hurt there too, no the appropriate timing they can go for a forward smash as he pulls up the stock. Okay, go for up tilt. And I'm gonna do it here. Okay. Very patient on these wish time. Uh, punishes. Oh no, that yeah, the combo's not gonna work, especially at that percent. Let's see what we can get here. Does his own? No. Eden Boss is gonna get right past that. Good nice. dash attack. Made him use the double jump. Oh, gets the last one to land though. Good forward throw. Good DI. He's not gonna die from that. This is the double jump. Comes back. Yeah, it's just off under a lot of pressure right now. Oh, nice job mix up yeah, there. Yeah, good catch. Okay, let's get the spike. Oh, Ooh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. it. Oh, not even necessary, but. Not at all, but all right. <laughs> just hold that. You're out of here. Yep. Hit him up. 